Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right. What's up there, guys? Long drive ahead of me. I mean, a long drive ahead of me. I'm driving all the way to Punta Gorda tonight. I might even just get a hotel and stay out there, but I'm going to pick up my new toy. I've decided that the motorcycle's not quite what I was looking for. Not that I don't want a bigger bike, but at the same time, I'm also already had my motorcycle accident. I'm trying to be safe. So I've decided to go back to a scooter, but this time we're gonna upgrade the scooter situation slightly. I still want something capable of highway speeds, travel comfortable, but I noticed that my, my hernias are very affected by riding on the motorcycle. It hurts, and honestly, I think by riding the bike, I ended up tearing my lower inguinal hernia a little bit more. Um, so I've been dealing with that pain, and I started realizing like, okay, that I wasn't affected with my hernias prior to this by riding the scooter because my feet placement is right in front of me. And unfortunately, let me turn my air down. Unfortunately, with the motorcycle, my feet are spread apart and I'm actually leaning right on the groin and guineal area of where my hernia is. So I had to make a decision. It was like, look, man, I like riding the bike, but I also know that I can get a touring scooter for a fairly decent price. So I'm going down there to pick up a Honda Reflex, which is was the upgrade to the Helix. I wanted a Helix, but nobody's letting a Helix go for a decent price. So I have a very long drive to Punta Gorda tonight. And depending on how I feel, I may get a hotel for the night, just stay there. I'm kind of pissed I didn't bring a drone with me to grab some, some footage because I've never been to Punta Gorda. But um, there's not too many people selling their Honda Reflexes off. So I'm going down there. We're going to pick up this Honda Reflex. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping this thing is everything I expect. I wanted a nice big touring scooter, not a commuting scooter. I wanted something with back support, all the good stuff, all the cruisers, windshield. I wanted all of it, man. I wanted I wanted a nice larger scooter. I really wanted a 650 Bergram or a 500 Bergram, but unfortunately nobody's selling those for a decent price. You know, I can pick up a Reflex for around $2,000, $2,200, somewhere around there. You know, so I figured for about 2,200 bucks, I can buy a 250. The Honda Reflexes have been known to break 100,000 miles on just a scooter, so that's insane. That's insane they get that kind of mileage. I'm stuck in traffic right now, so I'm just kind of cruising. But that's that's insane that a scooter gets that kind of quality and mileage. So I am driving down there. I got some money to drop on it. I haven't sold my motorcycle yet. I'm, that's still sitting in the garage, but I figured like, dude, it's hard to pass up a deal like this. You know, the guy's gonna offer me 22 for it. I know the current worth of the scooter is like four. So I'm down, I'll go pick it up. It looks like it's in really nice shape. Dude says he's gonna throw the helmets in with it. He hasn't ridden it in a little while. Says he's gonna go air up the tires. Let me take it for a drive. It is a water cooled system, which I've noticed in Florida is ideal. I've had this air-cooled bike for about a month now, and I gotta tell you, man, it gets hot. It gets hot. Florida's a very hot state for a, for an air-cooled bike, so with that being said, I needed something that was still highway capable. Comfortable wasn't gonna affect me when I had my hernias and had liquid-cooled systems, so we're gonna go pick up this Honda Reflex and um, throw it in the back of my truck if it's what I'm looking for. If not, then I just drove a very long ways for no reason and wasted two full tanks of gas for nothing. That's a hundred bucks and just gas to go there and come back. So anyways, all right guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you when, when this trip is nearing its completion to getting there. Toodles. Oh yeah, she's sexy. She is sexy. Clean ass 2007. It was actually garage cap man. Clean, stupid clean. Yep, yep. Yeah, it was a good deal. And it's got a built-in radio. I was unaware of that. That's pretty gangster shit, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I got a long drive home. This has more of like a sport bike front end on it. It's liquid-cooled, radiator, all the good stuff. Uh, it's pretty pimp, baby. Yeah. All right, well, traveling back at 75 miles an hour. I have 90 miles to go still. Sun has just gone down, but my phone is so awesome. It brings out all the light, even though it's dark. So that's awesome. But uh, yeah, man, we're cruising pretty, pretty good right now. We're cruising along here fairly good, so. 
Yep, I got a good ride home. There you go. Me and Sam just unloaded it. Oh, she is a beautiful piece of machinery. Not gonna lie. How's that for a 2007? Idles like a champ. Even foot pegs for the rear rider. That is sweet. That is sweet, man. Liquid cooled, beautiful greatness. This, you, you give it up to Honda, man. They know what they're doing. And uh, I finally realized why it has a fresh paint job because Buddy just painted it. It just gave it a really nice paint job. That was hard, hard, hard deal to our hard deal to argue with, man. And we're good to go. So I can see I need one headlight, and that seems to be about it. Other than that, we're good to go. She's idling like a top. So this thing has the capability to go 80. This is not exactly a grocery getter. Ooh, listen, the fan just came on. Hey, hey, the fan came on. Oh, liquid cooled life. Welcome to Florida. Very nice. Yeah, this is a beautiful machine here. Well, there's a lot of air coming out of there. Mm. All right. She's warming up. I love how the green light comes on, letting you know the fan came on. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Right, what, a, what a rig. What a unit, man. Ridiculous. Oh!